Hello, my name is Kurt, and today I will be talking about the power of bloodlines. Now this is very important information that not a lot of people are aware of. And if you are a witch, or a magical practitioner, or anybody who has power in their blood, you will kind of become self-aware of this. Eventually it will just kind of hit you. It's, it's kind of knowledge that's in your blood already. But there's a lot of regular people, mundanes, and people who are who do who have very weak bloodlines, and you know they're unaware of, of pretty much everything. They have no power in their blood. Um, there is still kind of energy and power transferred. They are just not aware of it. You know what I mean? But the power and energy is transferred is is very weak. So it doesn't really matter anyway. But um, it still kind of screws with the whole thing, you know. Um, there's multiple ways of exchanging energy or um, passing on energy, but the most powerful ways is through blood and through sex. And I do not mean like just by drinking a witch's blood or, or anything like that. Like things will occur if you do that, but I'm talking about bloodlines, you know, like me sleeping with a girl and having a baby with her will transfer my power not only to her, we it's a mutual exchange, her power transfers into me and my power transfers into hers, but also the, all these, both these powers merge into the child that is about to uh, be born, you know, and then the power, I mean, the baby is, is a mixture of both the parents' power. So this is why when you're a witch, uh, or a magical practitioner, or anybody who has a very powerful bloodline, um, you become kind of self-aware that you cannot sleep around with everybody. You, you just can't do it, because it'll cause a lot, a lot of problems, and it's a waste of energy. Here is why. If I slept with a mundane girl, just even if it was a one-night stand, there would be kind of an energy transference that would occur. You know, I could kind of block that out, I kind of became skilled upon energy work and all that stuff, but it's still, like, you're still kind of merging with another human being. Like, no matter how many kind of defenses you put up, whatever, there will still kind of be an energy transference. And, you know, the power will kind of be passed on, and this is what happens. The woman always takes on more power, you know, because the woman is the one who produces the child, the woman is the one who absorbs, and the man is who projects. So, like I said, if I were to sleep, with a, with a mundane female, the energy would transfer, and then she would start experiencing things. It would be life-changing. Like her, this is why I don't like, I would not want to do this to uh, anybody who's not prepared. This is why I'm very, very conservative when it comes to my sex drive and to who I have sex with. I cannot just sleep with regular people. As a witch, I'm telling you guys right now, if you are a magical practitioner, if you're a witch, you feel this power in your blood, you cannot just sleep with any random person. It'll screw things up. Because like I said, it could it could take a mundane person and drive them to a fucking insane asylum. I'm not kidding. You know why? Because once that power is transferred, and they, like I said, the easiest way that it's transferred is through sexual intercourse, they will kind of awaken whether they want to or not, and if they are not prepared for this, if, do, if they do not have this power in their bloodline, in their ancestry, in all this stuff, they will be screwed over. It'll, it'll cause sort of a, 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 like a, a paradox, you know what I mean? It, you, you can't do this, because like I said, if, if a mundane is not prepared for this, you may put up all these defenses. You may be very skilled in energy, but like I said, energy still transfers. And they will start feeling things. They will feel a change. Their their reality will start to shift. And they will think they're going crazy. You know what I mean? But but they're not going crazy. You just kind of gave them a power of a witch, you know? And they're going through these awakenings and these enlightening enlightening things. They start having precognitive dreams. They start having you know, like, magical abilities. And it's it's a real mindfuck for somebody who's not prepared. Because if you, like, like a pure, like, skeptic, you know, atheist, whatever, if you project them into that world, that are, that'll shatter their ego and that'll shatter their mind. Because their whole life, their whole reality, they spent 
kind of just safe in their little haven, their little bubble of, yeah, yeah, I'm just a, you know, a, a piece of flesh, this and that, nothing else exists, and whatever. But when they start seeing the, these things through their own eyes, once they start experiencing these things through their own eyes, and they can't describe it to anybody else, then it's a, it's a, it's a real big problem, you know. <laughs> because nobody could explain this shit, you know. Like, you know, it's ridiculous, you know, and, and this is why this is why I said if you are somebody who is a magical practitioner, if you have power in your bloodline, you must find a mate who is as powerful as you or you can sense it, you know, as a witch, you can sense energies and you will know who your kind of soulmate is automatically, even without meeting them in person. And a lot of people can say, oh yeah, this is bullshit, bullshit, whatever, you just fell in love with a rat. No, 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 no. Me, I'm not going to brag, but I have lots, I mean lots of women that want my dick. I do not know why, you know, but it's, it, I just attract fucking females like a magnet. But I do not pay them attention because like I said, it's, it's sort of like, sure, I would like to be like a regular person. I would like to fuck every girl that, that comes in contact with me, of course. I am a man. I have my own kind of sexual urges, but I can't do this because it would, like I said, it would not only create sort of a paradox in bloodlines, but it would also stay on my conscious, you know, on my conscious, uh, conscious, sorry. Um, I would feel guilty that I exposed kind of, you know, a, a happy mundane female that is not aware of anything sleeps with me and the next thing you know, you know, she's a completely different person. You know, whether <laughs> whether I wanted that to happen or not, it's like I said, it's an energy transference. And this is why I am very protective of who I sleep with. And this is why so many females are drawn to me. It's not because I'm hard to get. It's not because, you know, I don't want to have sex. It's just I can't, you know, because I saw kind of what happens when I sleep with mundane uh, females. Um, you know, just one, like, scenario I had this one girlfriend was kind of like a mundane, you know, and, and I kind of projected her into this kind of world that she wasn't unaware of, and I just felt too guilty, I couldn't handle that shit, and, you know, and, and this also puts a burden and a weight upon yourself, because you are now the mentor, you know, you, you expose somebody in this, to this uh, kind of energetic shift, and you cannot just leave them, because that's selfish, that's, 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 they'll go fucking insane, you know, um, you have to be their mentor. This is why if I ever were to sleep with a mundane female, um, I'm not saying that I can't. You know, I, like I said, I have my own energetic defenses and I know how to keep that energy within me. But like I said, even a small percentage, like even 1% of energy will still be transferred because sex is a very strong and powerful act. Even if I were to cut myself and bleed into a cup and give that to a mundane person and they were to drink it, it would still cause a, cause a significant change. So, I am, an, I am aware of this, and I know how to kind of block it, but even that 1%, I do not want to pass on, you know, because, like, it's, it's not worth it. Like I said, they will still kind of feel changes, and, and it'll, be, it'll be crazy. And like I said, I, I do not kind of want to be a mentor, because I have still so much to learn myself. And, you know, being a mentor kind of puts, uh, you know weight on your shoulders because you have to teach another person something that is kind of so sacred and so kind of hidden and so like just unaware of, of you know just not known to normal people they become kind of see like it could be the most popular girl you know the cheerleader of the high school right and I could sleep with her and after that changes will happen especially if I consciously project my energy if I like, I don't want to get into rituals and all this stuff, but there's an energy transference that you could do to assure that a person kind of um, gains that energy. Like I said, females are very susceptible to this because they are the receivers of energy. The men are projectors, but even as a witch, I project energy, but I also take on energy of females too. This is why, you know, sometimes, you know, you could read somewhere in psychology or whatever that you become kind of like the people you sleep with like subtle changes you know you might start acting like them you might start like speaking like them whatever whatever 
then this is absolutely true from a psychological perspective, but then it gets into the energetic perspective. Why do you think that happens? Because there's an energy transfer, transference that happens. This is why sex is sacred. This is why sex is a holy sacrament that a lot of people say should be saved for marriage. But that's just kind of mundane bullshit because like I said, these are weak bloodlines we are talking about here. Like, even if you save yourself for marriage and you're just a mundane, it won't fucking matter. Um, who, the people who should keep their bloodline sacred, like I said, are witches, magical practitioners, priests, all these people that actually know what the fuck is going on and know what they're doing and, and are aware and awakened people. So I urge you to please, um, but be careful and, um, if, like I said, when you're, when you're a witch, you feel who is right for you. It's an energetic pull. Uh, you don't even have to meet the person. You don't have to meet uh, the person physically. You will feel it over long distances and everything. Like I said, I have plenty of opportunities to sleep with girls. I shouldn't, technically speaking, as a regular male, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't kind of bother with kind of long distance females or like females that, you know, are halfway across the fucking world, you know, uh, because I have an abundance of pussy everywhere around me, you know, it's, it's just like I said, it's, it's, uh, I have this magnetic effect, but like I said, I can't, I can't do it, I can't, um, so I have to kind of save myself save that energy because this bond is very sacred like i said if you transfer the energy to the right person if there's an energetic transference that happens it's a very beautiful thing you can create the the most powerful children ever if you find the the perfect mate if somebody who is spiritually aware who has ancestries that were um, you know ancestry that were magically involved um you know people who are kind of awaken themselves if you have a, if you have a baby with a person like that and those energies merge that is a lot of power that child will be very powerful very very powerful and you don't even have to teach the child anything you know what i mean like because it'll get everything itself you know i got everything myself and nobody taught me anything you know i was always a loner and i obviously i hung out with witches and shit like that and you know i kind of learned through that i dated witches and all that stuff too and and um through that and in an unconscious kind of you know subconscious level you learn things you observe your like for example if you date a witchy girlfriend like you observe the things she do, does and every you realize that everything she does is kind of an act of magic like the same thing with me like once you become kind of empowered in this way you have to be very very careful because kind of like you know like you become a magical practitioner you know so you could be hanging out with a bunch of uh, regular people and you get drunk and then you start you know subconsciously doing shit and that'll create sort of like a mini magical ritual and shit will happen, you know? Like, I could get drunk with kind of like a mundane female that I like, that I have a crush on or whatever, and, you know, I could fucking unconsciously kind of do a spell and then she'll kind of fall in love with me through that and then I'll be sober and I'll be like, fuck, I can't deal with this because she's attracted to me. I can't transfer that power, you feel me? So you have to be very, very, very careful of these things you have to be you have to seek out your true mate that's the only way and i know a lot of people think i'm crazy and then the fucking a lot of people you know like probably one specific girl in particular probably thinks i'm coming on too strong or or, or whatever but like or maybe i may appear like to be like too frantic about this stuff you know but i feel that energy kind of radiating from her and i know i fucking know um she is my mate and i don't want to say it oh fuck i said it right now but i mean like like i can't just be like oh yeah you know once upon a time you know i did something and it attracted you know my my fucking soulmate to me and you are my soulmate because everything i fucking did worked according to plan you know 
the moon phases, everything worked according to plan. My precognitive dreams, my visions, and everything aligned according to what I kind of predicted already. You know what I mean? Like, like I can, like, it, it's weird. It's really weird. And, um, you know, some people may not be prepared for this. And, you know, like, if, for example, if you are kind of a witchy person and you find your kind of soulmate through magical means or through just regular means, like, you find somebody you're really, really drawn to, this doesn't occur often. As a witch, um, you are not drawn to mundane people. You don't give a fuck. There could be a girl with double Ds and, and, and she'll do every fetish you ever want, but you'll still be like, eh, I don't fucking care, you know, because the energy, energetic transference, you don't feel that energy from her. You know what I mean? You don't feel that. And it, like I said, it doesn't matter how the girl dresses. It doesn't matter how she looks. It doesn't matter who she is, where, what the fuck, anything like that. You know, you'll feel it. And my advice to people who find their kind of mate uh, is patience, persistence. Know that this will be worthwhile, uh, a worthwhile pursuit because um like i said everything transfers through bloodlines talents uh you know everything it's even from a psychological kind of perspective you know genetics everything transfers through a sex through through blood you know the child will have both tendencies of of the uh, of both parents you know what i mean so uh, th there's a lot going on behind the lines that a lot of different people don't see. But like I said, if I'm I'm a guitarist, I am creative, I am whatever. And if I sleep and make a baby with another, like with a girl that's very artistic, cre 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 uh, sorry, creative, um, very talented, whatever, very intelligent, these two things will merge, and and the baby will be a fucking genius. I'm not lying. I'm serious. Like, the baby will learn guitar by itself, learn painting by itself, will become fucking, you know, like, a prodigy. This is how prodigies occur. You know what I mean? So if you found that person, patience, persistence. They may, they may be still kind of unaware. They may be kind of still unawakened. Take time. Uh, you know, like, we don't just have kind of... I feel that we all kind of have... A specific kind of mate that we're drawn to but I feel that the universe and life kind of gives us numerous opportunities um, and brings us numerous kind of mates that are uh, specific to our needs you know if I call upon you know these specific women they will come to me but you know it's the impatience aspect this is why it gets kind of chaotic because you know, I have a sex drive. I'm a young fucking man, and I have a sex drive, let me tell you. Uh, but I can't just run around and go screwing around random people. Because, like I said, the energy will transfer. So, um, it's, it's, there's only very, very, very few females that I am truly drawn to. And, um, you know, and they only come, like, once a while. Like, once in a very long time. Unless I do something, you know, obviously, if I... Um, project something to bring me something, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I can kind of make things happen to my favor, but, um, like, it'll bring you multiple people, like, that kind of suit that thing, but there may be one person that is just, like, the complete package, and you're like, yep, that's the one, you know what I mean? And it's, like I said, it's not an infatuation, it's not anything, like, it's, it's power, you feel it in their blood, and it resonates with your blood, you know what I mean? So, so it's just crazy, you know. Sure, I've had crushes, I had infatuations or whatever, and, and, and it's, it's nothing compared to what you really feel when, when you find a person that truly, like, resonates deeply on an energetic level. Um, they have that dormant, uh, magical kind of thing in their blood. You know what I mean? Like, I seem to attract kind of girls like this that are kind of just starting out on the whole spiritual quest and, and they are unaware of their true power. They are un, un, unawakened. Um, they are maybe into the whole spiritual thing or whatever, but they kind of just withdraw from it because maybe all their friends are not into it or maybe they think, you know, it's a little loony or, or they didn't give it their full, like, dedication yet, you know. But the thing is, 
if they were to sleep with a person like me, it's over. Like overnight, their reality would fucking change. Like I would awaken because I know, like I know how to work with energies, and not only would she kind of heal me, but I would heal her. You know, like I see that dormant uh, aspect in her. This is the Venus and Scorpio aspect too. I see that like intensity and that deep power within her, and I want to bring it out into the surface. You know, and in the transaction, she kind of like uh, completes me and kind of soothes me because you know I I'm a fire sign. I have kind of too much uh like too much whatever <laughs> anyway patience persistence and don't screw around i'm telling you it has consequences i've seen it with my own eyes i experienced it with my own eyes you know i do not want this to fall on deaf ears i don't want you guys to be fucking celibate uh hermits if you are a witch uh, but I i'm just trying to say that you have to pick your mates very very carefully even if they are mundanes uh, make sure they will be able to handle this because like i said once that energy transference occurs it's kind of over and then <laughs> like uh, you don't want to project anybody that's not ready into this and also it's like i said um uh, energy could be transferred in, in numerous ways too you know, rituals and, and all these things. But like I said, the most sacred and the most powerful energy transference that could occur between a male and a female, and those energy transference, uh, those energies merge and create life, is sex. You could also do it through blood. Like I said, I am a witch. If I were to cut myself and give it to somebody uh, in a chalice and they were to drink it, um, things would happen. Um, changes would occur. So this is why... Uh, keep silent if you're a witch you know you have this like this is information that is already known you know like it's already known that kind of uh, energy transfers through uh, bloodlines this is why celebrities and all these fucking you know Rothschild and all these people they say there's like a conspiracy or Illuminati thing because they are very aware of the power of bloodlines whether it's energetic or not they know they can't sleep with just regular people they have to choose the, the specific person and to their favor they are rich wealthy um, people so you know they have all the time and all the you know utilities at their at their hands you know whereas, whereas a person who doesn't necessarily have this and you meet your your true kind of uh, flame uh, twin flame in fucking the other part of the world it's like oh shit like but that becomes kind of an a calling you know you, you like this is why this is why if you employ magic uh, you have to be willing to kind of uh, deal with all the shit that's kind of um, attracted to it you know what I mean so if you do us if you do something and it attracts a person um, on the other side of the world right and then you're like shit you know like it worked but like they're fucking all the way over there and all this stuff well that's a stumbling block you have to go upon employ other magical means to transcend that break through that that is your kind of person that is what you have to do you have to be you have to be willing to show the universe that you're willing to um fight for kind of uh what it brought you and um you know everything you know it's it's it, like i said it's a transference of energies you know you transfer something out into the universe it brings you exactly what you need and you have to put more energy into that to get it you know what i mean so please um like i said this is common knowledge you'll become self-aware of this if you are a witch any witches watching this already know um so it's nothing big it's not like a huge occult secret or anything this can be seen in in books and everything and then like i said i'm, I'm just saying that you have to be very careful of who you kind of um, transfer energy with. You can't be just like a regular person that screws around. You have power, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, there's numerous ways, you know. Like when you become initiated into witchcraft, uh, like a formal initiation, it's all on an energetic level, you know what I mean? Like, all the like ritualistic things or whatever that you're kind of put through are just um, are not important it's the energy transfer that occurs you know and 
is very interesting, but that is to be kept silent. Uh, you know, it's people are already aware of how kind of bloodlines work and all this stuff, so I'm not releasing any type of like, um, like hidden, super hidden knowledge, but there is deeper and hidden aspects, I assure you, that uh, you cannot release as a witch. So I'm just sharing this for all the, all the fellow witches out there that are already aware of this or people that may be awakening whether you're a new ager or a fucking hippie or whatever the hell is going on and you are awakening you're feeling you're experiencing things that nobody else seems to be experiencing you have power that dormant power that is in your bloodline is finally awakening be careful do not screw around you know it'll 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 cause chaos i'm telling you you don't want to give away that power to any regular person you don't want to transfer this uh, you are you are more worthy you are you are you are way more worthy than just petty kind of weak bloodlines you know what I mean that's it guys take it easy and kind of uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you are kind of a witch or whatever please chime in please tell me your experience about such things um, how like how do you go about these things are you celibate are you uh, a solitary practitioner do you just masturbate how do you choose your mates um, how um, did you ever become aware of this did anybody tell you about this you know um, all that stuff take it easy